just chef's kiss. Absolutely delightful. I don't have any other Animal Crossing like shirts, so I have these pants on. Um, but I'll go change. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Quickend and if you didn't know, I am a certified Animal Crossing super fan. Don't look into that. Today I am going to be sharing with you the ColourPop Animal Crossing makeup collab almost in its entirety. I am missing two things from the entire collection, but it is the glitter and I'll speak more on that. However, today I want to talk about how I picked up all of these pieces from Ulta on Valentine's Day and I want to create a look with them. This video is not sponsored by any means. I tried to order these items during the main ColourPop release a few weeks ago and although I did make it to the queue, I wasn't able to buy anything. Though a lot of people in my Discord did have a lot of success buying stuff, so I don't think it was impossible, but I was 10 minutes late and missed the entire thing. So let's get into it and talk about the Animal Crossing ColourPop makeup collab and all the pieces from it. So like I said, this video is in no way sponsored. I bought all of these things myself and they are quite a labor of love. I think in total I spent around $80 and um, on an unrelated note, could this video get uh, 70,000 likes? That would be great. So on Valentine's Day, I was able to get almost all of the collection by going to two different Ulta's. However, after talking with an employee at one of the Ulta stores I did go to, they did mention that just the items on the display were the only pieces they got from the collection. So if you were trying to buy this in real life, it seemed like it may have been rather competitive. You can see from the picture of the display, I took around 12 noon that most of the pieces were sold out. And I don't know how many of the Super Shock shadows and glitter were at each store, but from what I can see on the display, it seems kind of limited. So let's unbox these. It is so satisfying to just hold like a wad of these. It is very satisfying to me. While I set up my close-up my close -up cam, um, do consider subscribing to my channel. Or you can watch me stream Animal Crossing at twitch.tv slash qqckandy. Whenever I have to take a dump in game, I just, uh, I do it at Marina's house. So starting with the lip colors, personally I was really excited to try the lip tints because I I don't know if it's pandemic or whatever, but I love just like a little touch of color. I am light years away from liquid lipstick and all of that. So when these were kind of like cooler, maybe kind of chapsticky, just a tint kind of color, I really love that. I use a lot of liquid lip tint. Um, I know that sounds like liquid lipstick, but it's light years different. So these three, these three are meow. So these three colors are Fruit Basket, which is the pink color. And on the back, it says Juicy Apple and Cherry Cherry. And on the back there, super cute. You can see Rosie, you can see Bunny, you can see Isabel, you can see Hamster. The packaging on this is really, really, really cute. Next we have Fruit Roots, and this looks like it is a more of a brown color family of Animal Crossing characters. Orange is my island's native fruit, so I wanted to grab this as well. And finally, we have Just a Tint, and this is more of a green color family. Well, it has Stitches and Mabel, but all really cute. Really cute packaging, and the back has a coconut and a pear. So one thing that was kind of interesting, a little tidbit, if you're buying these out in real life, the first store I went to only had 
this green box sold out of these two. And then I went to an Ulta like an hour away from that one and it was reversed. Only had these two sold out of this one. I thought that was pretty interesting. So these retailed for $12 each and because I bought them at Ulta, I was able to use a coupon that took a dollar off of each one. So not a huge amount of savings, but savings nonetheless. Next, we have the two blushes, and these two blushes are Flower Tender and Flower Power. So, same thing, when I went to one Ulta, they were sold out, went to the other Ulta, they were in stock. Initially, online, I didn't think I was super impressed with these blushes and their character story. I have <laughs> these flowers on my island, and I often compare them to weeds because they are everywhere. Although holding them in my hand feels very special. I don't know if it's the thrill of the hunt, but it feels really special to me. So Animal Crossing Pressed Powder Blush. This was $12 and I got a dollar off of it with a coupon. Finally, here they are. All four of the color palettes. Both stores I went to had all four in stock. Quickly, we'll go over these. I, as an Animal Crossing super fan, or whatever I said in my desperate email to Colourpop, I am excited to hold these in my hand and look at them because they just feel so special to me. I don't know how many hours I necessarily have on my island. I've been putting in a ton lately. But Animal Crossing is one of those franchises that I just feel so special about that really just like, Honestly, holding these feels a lot more special than it did looking at the pictures online. The renderings online made me go, eh, who made this? But now looking at them, they feel really special. The smaller details of the packaging, I feel like were maybe underrepresented online. So holding them and seeing them now does feel special. Now, I re recently, wow, like last year, I actually reviewed the Sailor Moon ColourPop collab, and here I am, and ColourPop probably has to be my favorite makeup company, right? Because I do love these collabs. I am bound by these collabs and felt no more than 100% stress trying to get these, trying to get the Sailor Moon ones. I do have the Sailor Moon one with me here, and I did keep it in the box, and that I feel like is just a collector's kind of thing. So I bring that up because these boxes feel really special to me, but I believe the packaging inside is different, kind of like the Sailor Moon one. So one of the criticisms of these palettes was the use of this extra fine glitter. And we, are, I do see on here, it says not intended for you immediate by uh, use on here. They all have that asterisk. The Sailor Moon palette also has one of those as well. But let's open these up. Today, I want to look, make a look with the green palette as well as maybe a mix of these browner tones. I feel super comfortable with these. Um, in all honesty, I was worried about what I would do with these purple shades. I've never really played with purple makeup. So the print on the actual palette is very cute, very pleasing to me. I think that that is adorable. So let's go through all of them. That is really, really special. Opening it up. Here are our colors. And Timmy and Tommy on the mirror is just chef's kiss, absolutely delightful. Quickly, because I was looking for this information when I was making my informed consumer decision about the size of these pans, we will compare the pan size to Sailor Moon. Comparatively, these are the pan sizes. These are so cute. 
These are so cute. I don't know why, I think just looking at them online, I thought this was the palette packaging, this like kind of just basic rendering of them, but the details of them on the packaging like this are very, very, very cute. And depicted like this in the mirror, and here are the colors. Really, really, really cute. A little, maybe a little more wearable than I thought. They do have weight to them too. They do feel good. They feel good in the hands. Nice, strong cardboard. This packaging a lot more, well actually exactly the outer little cardboard, opening it up. The inside is pretty fun. All over print, and then you see the embossed flower. Hard to make out, but you can actually see some villager designs around. That is really special. We wanted villager representation in this collab. Desperately. And then this is flower power. Again, I do really like this all over print frame of the mirror. And the villagers texture around the frame is raised so you can you can run your fingers over it and feel them just kind of like this which is really really nice a really sp fucking special touch to me finally we have our lip colors as you know i didn't get the other two products however realistically i don't know how i would incorporate them in most of my looks anyway this is just so nice to run a finger over so this is Fruit Basket. This is the juicy red and cherry color family here. Here are the pencils. And I thought that these were gonna be kind of small. Already on here, there is some scratching and stuff on the word Animal Crossing. So if you are a collector and you wanna keep these in good condition forever, I would worry about just like throwing this in your purse. This could be scratched up. Kind of a cough drop smell, which like, have... Who among us hasn't popped a cough drop for no reason, just to get a little candy taste? Editing, I realize that telling you how each color smells probably isn't helpful, so I've included lip swatches at the end. And this one kind of smells like paint. Juicy apple. So that is a full breakdown and comparison to all the products I was able to buy. Now I will perform a look. Um, I have my base on, so we'll be able to try shadow, lip, and blush. Hello. <laughs> Hi. So, like I said, today I wanted to do a green eye look with some embellishments of brown. I love green. I'm, I'm a green girl now. And I did want to try a green look. I feel like I saved one on my phone. Will these be chalky? I don't know. I feel like when I look at them, I think they are. Right now, I'm just putting some powder down. So before I start with any of the green, I'm going to go in with this hooty hoo. And dipping it in the pan does give you some crunch, some kickback. I'm just gonna V out my eyelids to give me more room. And you have a fossil and a, a little star, little star fragment. How cute. Hopefully with a lighter hand because I'm no makeup artist. I'm gonna go in with who and kind of deepen this crease here. Super, super light, super light little tippy taps. This I can see being so pretty and easy to use. It's giving me the slightest little bit of sparkle and shimmer 
that I didn't see in palette. Like I don't see it. I don't see these like matter shades reflecting any light, but I'm getting some shimmer here, but it's pretty. I like it. Now I'm going to go in with some nook, some nookling. It's time to nook. I'm going to say out loud that I've like never used green eyeshadow before. <laughs> Made in the shade. It seems like an olive. It's the closest to olive in this and I think an olive green is good. I feel like I need something a little fluffier to lay this on. Yeah, that's the ticket. This color is a little patchy in my opinion. It does feel like it would have some fallout, but a little patchy, but maybe a stronger base underneath would be better if you were playing with this color. It did get a little murky in my crease. I'm thinking of trying water landing. I wish it was more of a true forest green and not so much of an aqua, but maybe laying it down over the brown can give us that super super light and you can see it's much more easy to see how this is like very glittery <laughs> the lightest little brown crease green crease Meow. Okay. So here's Isabel. Um, I guess I'm gonna go in, like I wish this was more of a yellow green instead of a blue green. So I guess I'm gonna risk it all and put some of this yellow. It sure did light things up. <laughs> now I'm gonna do my lower lash line. I started doing it in uh, Resident Rep, which is really pretty. Um, but where I thought it would be like a burgundy, it is like a red. You can kind of see a little bit. I'm gonna go in with all flutter, even though it's mad shimmer. We're gonna just see. That looks good. So I'm gonna do some mascara and a little bit of brown liner, I think, and I'll be right back. So our choices are this very, very pink, pinky blush and this more coral blush. I want to go with, what it, flower power? Okie doke. I'm gonna go with this one because I feel like it'll be like just a, like a more just. That seems like a nice precious, precious pink which I don't really have a lot of. I've been using orange blush like exclusively for the last year, so I did want to pick this up to have, have it. Initially one blush I didn't want, so was it this one? I don't, I don't quite remember. I'm not getting it. Let me really go crazy on my brush here. I'm seeing the glitter. I'm seeing the glitter from the blush. I see it. Cute. Cute. 
Now, by name, I really don't <laughs> remember any of the color stories for the, the, uh, the lips. So maybe I could store them upside down so I can see the swatches a little better. Right, I think when I was looking these up, I felt like these colors looked really similar. Pear and orange. I'm going to go with the more... My lips are not in the best shape. Hmm. This is giving me like a like a dog wearing makeup kind of vibe. Who's a good boy? I think blotted. Blotted is a little prettier. So this is my finished look from the Animal Crossing makeup collection minus glitter. And honestly, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. I think for me in my day to day, this is actually a lot of makeup. So being able to dial it down, I think with some of the more easier color stories, like I could work with this every day and the Isabel palette as well. I think a a little bit of artistry is definitely a plus if you are working with these colors because they are a little bit chalky. A heavy hand could definitely make this a little more difficult and look a little less balanced, a little less light. So I think a light touch, definitely some experience with makeup would help. Um, but I think this is beginner friendly in a way that it's cute and colorful and you can mix and match and it works together well in my opinion. The lip color I was a little iffy about, especially for $12, I think when it's in your hand, it is a lot more product. A lot of people said that Maybelline has like a lip crayon and calling this a, li a lip tint, you know, may be correct, but for me, a lip tint is like a gel stain and I wouldn't call this a stain at all. It's not going to stain your lips. It lays on top of the lips. So not mask friendly. A lip stain is mask friendly. I wear a lip stain primarily and I normally say lip stain and lip tint are interchangeable and the same thing. This is going to lay on top of the lips like a chapstick, but it's not going to stain the lips like a lip tint traditionally but I don't know what a better word would be for this other than lip crayon, which I firmly believe is what this is. And overall, as a fan, I, I adore these. I adore the packet component packaging, and I prefer it to the packaging on the box as well, but similarly to collecting my Sailor Moon makeup, I will keep both. But I do think that these could be something you could incorporate into daily use. You could throw this in a bag. And I do think if you are going to purchase these, it is worth getting uh, what a hoot it might be worth grabbing two of these. So at least when you run out, you'll have another one maybe so you can have a, a second set to display. I did worry about that mid video. If at any point you saw me come online, it was, well, if I use too much of this, then it'll be gone. <laughs> and 
Maybe we'll never see it again. However, a year later, Sailor Moon makeup is still in stock on ColourPop, so you get it in your hands and then hopefully there's a restock. Overall, I recommend this makeup. I was very critical of this launch and a lot of people said, why would you even try and buy it? Clearly you're very critical of it. And now that it's in my hands, now that I can experience it, even the print on the inside of the box has been considered, I really do like it. Limitations in my own artistry would prevent me from using this to its full capability, but that is me. <laughs> that problem lies with me. And really, honestly, super, super cute. If I were to recommend something to grab for the Animal Crossing fan in your life, I would go with either Nook Ink or what, a hoot. I think that this is universally complimentary. I think people in your live has probably worked with brown and gold eyeshadow before, so this would really work out. However, I do think that this is one of the cutest packaging in the bunch, and I also believe any lip tint, no matter what, if you went to Ulta and there was only one package left, I think universally you're gonna grab something you really like. And if it's a cherry, cherry red, I had a lot of success blotting the color onto my lip and not just letting it lay on top, but letting it penetrate and really do its job. Overall, I'm 100% satisfied that I went out in the storm, it did it? No, it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> that was the pressure. Overall, I'm 100% satisfied that I went out for Valentine's Day, got what I believe to be the complete collection, in my opinion, because I don't know what I would do with the glitter, and I am very, very, very satisfied with this purchase. Unrelated, please give this video 70,000 likes, and maybe I can recoup the damage, but as a collector and as a person who wears makeup, I am really satisfied. Will this sit on my shelf? I don't know. I don't know. It just feels good to get a little something, a little something for yourself. I really, re I really, really, really like it. I really, really, really like it. But most of all, please subscribe to my channel. If you are an Animal Crossing fan, I am streaming Animal Crossing over on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash qqckandy. If you like visuals from me, check me out on Instagram at quietcoolkid. And as always, thank you so much for the time of day. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was everything you needed in your quest for figuring out if you want this makeup or not. I tried to put in everything in this video that I could not find on other places on the internet. So if it helped you, let me know in the comments. And I love you so much. Have a nice day. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> and free Britney while you're at it.